Okay, and the first activity is talk for, yeah, I've recorded, yeah, I've started recording games Maru. Um, the first one is talk for one minute. This game is designed on the PowerPoint, uh, on the PowerPoint like this. For example, you're going to ask your friend, your students to uh, pick a number. Huh. Uh, pick a number, yeah. Nanis, hello, yeah, Miss Nanis. Hello. Miss Nanis, hello. Ah, pick a number. Okay, Miss Marwa, pick a number. Four. Hello. Number four. Hello. Okay. Yeah, let's go to number four. And we have the topic here. Talk for what talk for one minute about your favorite sport. Huh. Are you ready? For one minute, starting now. Very fast. Okay, my favorite sport is swimming. Mm -hmm. Um I love swimming, but I, I really I can't <laughs> swim. <laughs> You're not ready. Okay. Yeah. So but you I can hope. give your students, yeah, you can give your yeah. students like two minutes to get prepared for this talking. Um, or you can also something uh, would be very nice if you have a large class in, in, in order to all of them to participate, you can make it in yeah. group work. And you yeah. can divide them into like four groups and they choose one. If each group chooses one, huh, one number, and they go to the the speaking task. And then you ask them to help each other to get prepared with as many ideas as they can. So they start organizing the ideas in the group and then they start talking, okay? Group by group, then you're gonna find that most of the, uh, most of the class ha have participated, okay? Um, let's go back. Yeah, back, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 what happened? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ladies. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. And then they choose another number. And so on every number is hyperlinked with a slide. This slide has a topic to speak about. For example, number 10. Let's go to this. Huh. So for one minute about your favorite season. So I have variety of things that they're going to talk about. So you can have it individually if your class has a small number. And if you have a large number of students, yeah, we have we are having activities, yeah, Miss Aisha, activities uh, to start your sessions, okay? A variety of activities. Uh, and if you have a, a, a large class with a lot of uh, a lot of students, you can divide them into groups. As I said, ask them to pick a number, choose the uh, the topic, and then they start. Huh, they start generating the ideas together, and one of them will do the speaking. Okay, dokie. Yeah, it is not bad to the right one. And um, then after that, this one of the activities. These all are the activities. Look at them. We have, yeah. Talk for a while uh, about your favorite sports, your favorite film, huh. more, your school. We'll talk about your school. Also, your favorite animal. They can talk about Christmas or something related to our religion or something related to our culture. Okay, according to your hobby, what's your favorite hobby? And also your favorite season, your birthday, you can talk about the house, a lot of things. And there are rules for this, uh, for this game. They can, they, you can set the rules at the very beginning. They talk for one minute, you, they click the arrow for the, uh, for the minute timer. And then when it's done, then time is over. And as I've told you, you can use it individually or in groups. And the next one is uh, the food riddle. Mm. We're gonna read the clues and guess what the food is. Again, they will read some clues about this. Yeah, they are designed on the PowerPoint and I'm gonna send you the PowerPoint separately. Not all of them in one PowerPoint. I'm gonna send them all of them inshallah, okay? No worries. So let's get started for the game, the riddle uh, game about food. The first one. I usually have dark green stripes. Hmm. Has anyone guessed? What is it? Dark green stripes. Okay, one more clue. Watermelon. Watermelon. Excellent. You ever seen that? Yeah. If they don't know the first clue, they, they couldn't do it. So you can go to another one. Okay, so I consist mostly of water, and that's it. 
uh, let's go to the solve. You solve it. You click on the solve. You find it watermelon. Okay. The next one. Uh, eating plain. I'm usually white. Hmm. How? What do you think it is? Banana. Banana. Uh, you can eat me with sugar, fruit, cereal. Huh. Coconut. Coconut. I am usually made from milk. cow milk. Milk. Is it milk? Yogurt. 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 Excellent. That's right. Yeah, yogurt. Yeah, the next one. I come in many shapes and sizes. Hmm. Any clue? Huh. No, no, it's hard. Go on, give us another clue. Yeah, okay. The next one. I can be eating at any meal of the day. Huh. Still hard, right? The next one. Bread. I am made out of flour. Bread. Yes, bread. 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 Excellent. That's right. It's a bread. Excellent. Okay. Uh, here is a solve. Let's show them. Don't forget to do that. Bread. You can eat it in any meal. That's great. I am a round fruit. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of round fruits. And I am usually red and I have seeds. Strawberry? No. Berry. Strawberries? Uh, people think I am a vegetable. Uh, tomato. 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 Ah, it's tomato. Excellent. That's great. Okay, the next one. Well, you can drink me hot or cold. Continue. Or two. Originally, I come from China. Coffee. Tea. 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 Are you sure? Is it tea or coffee? Let's. The next one. <laughs> you can often find me in a small bag. It tea. is tea. Yeah, it is tea. That's right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. I can be hard or soft. Also, you can put me on your bread. Huh. Thanks. Butter. Butter. Next mm. one. Sometimes I have holes. Cheese. It is cheese. Yeah, it's cheese. cheese. Excellent. The next one. I am sold the fresh or frozen. Huh? Fish. 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 Mm. I am usually round and flat. Round and flat. Huh. Um, Meat. I was invented in Italy. Pizza. I oh, no, no, no. Yeah, it's pizza. Excellent. <laughs> okay, it's pizza. Okay, I am usually eating peeled. Banana. 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 All right, okay, let's read. I can be bo I can be boiled, fried, roasted. Eggs. 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 Potato. You need me to make French fries. Yes, it's potato. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yes, that's great. Okay, and the next one. I'm usually sweet and brown. Huh. Sweet and brown. Chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I melt in your fingers. Mm. Chocolate. And chocolate. I am made from cocoa beans. Yeah, it's chocolate. 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 Right. Okay. I can be served warm, hot, or cold. I need chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yes. I am made from meat, fish, or vegetables. Uh oh, what's it? And you what? need a spoon to eat me. Um, yeah. Soup. 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 yeah, soup. Excellent. Yeah, it's soup. You can you can have meat soup, fish soup, or vegetable. Dead. Okay. The next one. I can be eating cooked or raw. Huh? And the next one. I have a bright orange color. Carrots. Carrots. Oh, rabbits seem to love me. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Carrots. Carrots. Yeah. The next one. I am a tropical fruit. And I have a rough orange and brown skin. Huh. Coconut. Is it coconut? Uh, huh. uh, pineapple. 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 I have a pointed leaves on top. This is pineapple. Then that's right. Thank you very much. Next one. I am a low fat meat. Huh? Fish. 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 
Hmm. I am not a chicken meat. Fish. Fish. Yeah, they are fish. I have a country's name. Mm hmm. Country's name. Hmm. Um, turkey. Turkey. It's turkey. It's not fish. Okay. The next one. You can drink me. I am not sweet. You need me to survive. Water. 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 Yeah, water. it's water. Yeah. Okay. I am a soft fruit. You need me to peel. You need to peel me. And I am long and yellow. Banana. 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 It's a banana. Yeah, banana. I love bananas. Okay. I am neither meat nor vegetable. Yeah, what else? I can be toxic. I am fungi. Mushroom. It's mushroom. mushroom. Excellent. That's right. Excellent. Okay. I am often eaten in thin slices. What is eaten in thin slices, ladies? Chips. I'm usually dried, salted, and smoked. I eat turkey. I am meat from the back and sides of a pig. Oh, my goodness. This Bacon. Is Bacon. Bacon. Yeah, it's bacon. That's right. You're saying that. Great. I am not always white. I am always sweet. Hey, you can put me in your coffee. Ha. Sugar. Milk. Sugar. No, it's sugar. 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 Oh, oh, okay. Milk is not sweet, you know? Okay. Yes. So uh, we're not carry uh, we're not gonna carry on in this game. So this game is very nice and interesting and exciting for the students. So you can add whatever you like. They and for us as well. This... <laughs> exactly. That's what I mean. So if you are teaching, maybe you are teaching adults. You are teaching uh, primary stages. You are teaching. Uh, teens, you can use uh, this PowerPoint. It's amazing. I'm going to send it to you. You can add whatever you want. Okay. You can edit this. And instead of having the bacon, you can have something that you can use in your class. Uh, and instead of having some the challenging ones, you can change them into easy, uh, easy questions, easy descriptions, easy clues to make them suitable for your students. Okay, dokie. I will send them. No worries. And this one is, I am a big green vegetable. I have large leaves. I am eating uncooked in salads. This is lettuce. Well, it could uh, be and cabbages also. Yeah, now what about these pictures for teaching English? Hmm, a lot of pictures. How can we use the picture in teaching English? I'm not talking about teaching now. I'm talking about how can you start your session with an activity using a pictures? Huh, ideas, ideas, ideas. Huh. How can we do this? Raise a hand if you want to participate, please. Raise a hand if you want to speak. How can, yes, Miss Shayma, go ahead. Miss Shayma Yahya. Hello, Miss Sofia, how are you? Miss Shayma, alhamdulillah, everything is great. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi. God bless you, house. Um, in my class, I use pictures in, um, in lead in, for example, in lead in uh, step to. Uh, to ask the question, to ask some questions. Uh, for example, if I have my lesson today about um, animals, I can show them a picture of uh, a zoo animals, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. And ask them, what can you see in this picture? What animals do you know? Uh, have you seen them in real life? And so on, some some questions related to their lives, but from the, uh, from the pictures to uh, use it as a lead-in. Also, I can use it, um, um, after introducing the vocabulary to ask them to label the the new voc, the new yeah, animals. Yeah, the new vocab. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, like labeling game. I, yes, labeling game. Uh, in grammar also, in grammar lesson, I can use it as a setting the scene or an example. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, I can uh, show them a picture of um, a ready-made cake. Uh -huh. um, That's amazing. Um, Mom is taking off this cake from the oven. So I can use this picture to teach them past simple. That already she cooked or she made the cake. Or even ah. a picture of a flying balloon. Great. That, yeah, that also you can use it in teaching past simple. So you can use picture in teaching grammar also. Okay, that's very nice. But the or, thing you mentioned at the very beginning, using the, the picture as a lead-in to the topic yeah. you are teaching. That's very nice. Yeah. 
and yeah, also in wrap up you can use it in productive uh, in writ writing uh, simple uh, sentences or simple paragraphs describing the picture Great. as Amazing. Written. okay that's very yeah. nice ideas yeah thank you very much mr Ahmed. mr walid go ahead uh, I'm using pictures in different ways. For example, I just bring pictures that are not related to the topic at all, like the topic uh -huh. that we studied together before, and I ask my students, hey guys, what are we going to study? They're telling me like in the old topic or this as the picture that I just represent. Then after I make a surprise, hey guys, we're going to study something new. Exactly. That's very nice. Okay. Miss Asma, go ahead. How are you? Everything is great. Okay, I usually use the pictures mainly for teaching young learners how to write a paragraph, a short paragraph. Right. Um, and they're describing, or using the business continuous um, to describe what's going on and what everyone in the picture is doing. And this is what I mainly use them for. So for this one, what can we ask here, a question here? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Shaheen, Shaheen, go ahead. Uh, Ms. Uh, I Thank was about, so hi, hi, Ms. Rafa, how are you, dear? I miss you so much. I miss you too. Uh, well, actually, I don't have a, a right answer for for your question right now, but I was uh, I was gonna ask about I was gonna about uh, pictures in about, Yeah, uh, one of the one of the most important uh, usage of uh, of pictures, of course, is with vocab. I mean, sometimes some vocab right. cannot be explained, cannot be um, uh, defined. So it's better, of course, to to show it in a in a picture, and then no need for words. And then I would ask them to to put it to me into uh, in a context, just like give me a sentence or uh, use it in in a dialogue or something. But yeah, of course, uh, pictures can be a very good uh, introduction uh, for vocab for teaching vocab. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's very nice. Okay, what about this one? This picture. What can what kind of questions can I ask my students at the very beginning of the class so it makes them you know um, interesting interested in the session or energize them or getting them involved with you at the very beginning of the class? Well, okay, I'll tell you something. Maybe yeah. I can I can ask about specific things. Uh, for example, can you find um, can you find um, uh, uh, a turtle? Can you find uh, an apple? Mm -hmm, uh, right. Look for yeah. Look for uh, a car. So I just try to let them uh, have a closer look and tell or yeah. count, for example, how many stars can you see? How many, uh, how many pair of shoes many can cups, you see? Yeah. Mm. What, example, what are the drawings on the cup, for example? Yeah. Also, uh, you can ask them a question on a higher level of your students if they are in grade maybe two or three. Okay, what do you think the mother said to the boy? Okay, or you can put them into groups, okay? Uh, okay, look at this picture. Uh, the mom came to the, the room and she said something to the boy. Imagine the dialogue or imagine the conversation. And I want you to work together to write at least four lines, for example. Right? I can ask them. So they can be working in group, collaborating together, generating a lot of ideas and making a conversation. So I'm using what they see into a context of their own. It will be very nice, engaging. Uh, they are collaborating together and it allows them to be creative, right? This is one way. Yes, yeah, Ms. Amani? Yes, hi. Uh, like, I can't add more. They, they give us many examples and I really love them. But, like, I have one thing I used with uh, higher levels, uh, which is giving them two pictures and, uh, and ask them what's the difference. The differences, and, yeah. Yeah, and, and you can find many pictures online, like just write uh, yeah, the different pictures, you can find many. Yeah, yeah, that's great. It's a very nice activity and get them to speak together, start negotiating and start uh, saying the differences and they, they start agreeing or disagreeing together. That's a very nice activity, I love it. Okay, what about this one? What kind of question can I ask here? Hmm. Uh, maybe uh, maybe finding uh, or writing words, uh, especially with the present continuous. Uh, yeah. So what are the what what are the family doing? For example, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or well, you can think out of the box, uh, out of the box, and say, okay, look at this family. Here is the mom, the dad, the grandma, but the grandfather is not here. He's outside. What do you think he's doing? And why is he late? 
out, out of the picture. What are these family doing? They start saying the uh, the woman, uh, the, the mom is playing with the baby, the boy is playing a video game, the, the, girl, uh, the girl is playing with the father and the grandma. What about the grandfather? Where is he? Okay. Oh, you can talk about the importance of family uh, uh, relationship. That's very nice. Okay, one more uh, picture. What about this? What kind of question can I ask? Yes, yeah, Ms. Shime, go ahead. You raise the hand. Right, Ms. Shime? Yes, I'm here. Yeah. Uh, you can ask him uh, at the beginning, which room this one uh, at your home? Right. Uh, or you can ask him in lower grades, what colors are walls or curtains? Yeah. Um, do you have a mirror in your bathroom or um, uh, what about the bathroom uh, in your house? Is it small or big? Um, also, also you can uh, hear, you can do some a uh, very nice activity. Uh, you can use, do you know, uh, it's like a listening, a jigsaw listening activity. You're going to say, okay, okay, look at this picture very carefully. I'm going to tell you some sentences about these people. What are they doing? And I want you to take notes, divide them into groups. And you start saying, okay, the mother is so happy. She is playing with the little baby and the baby is smiling. Ahmed is playing a video game. And you go on with sentences of your own. You have made them. They are, you, are, you have already prepared them. Say them twice. Okay? And then you ask them. Now, you are in a group. I want you to write the sentences, as I said. Of course, all of the group, they have taken notes. So you, they complete each other. And after that, you start comparing between the production of the, uh, the groups you have. Okay, I think it's a very nice activity. It's done in another way, in a, in a different way, involving most of the class at the same activity. So you are going out from only speaking. No, they listen. They speak together to make up the sentences and then uh, they start uh, checking what they have written together. Okay, and more more, more pictures. I'm gonna send them to you, no worries. And the number, uh, the number of the characters, for example. The numbers um, of characters, how many people are there? Yeah. Okay, or you can, yes, yeah. Mr. Shima, very nice, very nice point. You I'm can not, let them, let them sh see the picture for like 30 seconds and then you cover it and tell me what was the boy doing? What is the boy doing? What is the mother doing? A memory game. They can do that. It would be nice. Yes, Mr. Shima, go ahead. You have something to say. Uh, no, um, I'm not taking, I'm not asking about, um, I'm not talking about numbering uh, something inside the picture. Um, mm -hmm. I'm telling you to uh, put, for example, on boy number one, uh, mom is number two, for example, and so on. So uh -huh. every has a number, then you would <laughs> say some sentences and ask them the this image. sentence related to which character. Uh huh. Yeah, so you say the sentences and they match the sentence to the right character. Uh, according to the, the description, according to what they are doing, and yeah, also exactly. you Very can, nice one. can ask Very them nice. about the value you, they can note inside the picture, the value of um, uh, of Being the family together, the family spending time together. That's very nice. Okay, in this one, I can ask them about the number of animals. Okay, I can ask them. Uh, oh, would you? Okay, how many houses are there? How many cows? How many ducks? Uh, what is the boy? What is the boy in blue doing? What is the, the man with the horse doing? And so on. A lot of questions, generating a lot of ideas, and getting them uh, interested in that. Oh my God, this is a crowd picture. What kind of questions can we ask here? Miss Shima again. Uh, well, I'm going to think about questions, but I uh, I remember something. Uh, one day picture as a nice activity and mm -hmm. uh, on the internet you can find this uh, picture something you, you can ask him or you can ask them what's wrong in this picture and exactly. if for example it was an amazing picture someone is uh, is flying in the sky um on a banana so what's wrong in this one or yeah. even he in the swimming pool uh with the uh, with a suit not a swimming suit so it was a nice activity using pictures to, to ask them Actually, what's wrong. Yeah. This takes me to, uh, 
Oh. Yeah, this takes me back to an adult class I was teaching. And one of the activities in the book itself, it was designed like this. Uh, some people were riding bikes in the swimming pool. Other people were, they were running, uh, wearing suits. Uh, a woman yes. was in the rain and she was wearing sandals and uh, she was wearing like a short, uh, short skirt and so on. So they asked them, what's wrong? And they started describing, it was about the prison continuous. Okay, the woman, uh, she is wearing a uh, short skirt and sandals and it is very, uh, it, is, it is raining, okay? The man is riding a bike in the swimming pool. Uh, the woman is wearing a suit while she's swimming and so on. It was very nice. What's wrong with this uh, picture? Very nice one, yeah, Mr. Yamet to mention. Yes, yeah, Ms. Asmet. Uh, I can ask them to uh, mention the difference between living in a village and living in a city. Uh -huh. And I can ask them about the good action and the bad action and the picture according to their own opinion. Yeah, so, very nice. Okay, that's very nice. Okay, one more. What's wrong with this room? You can say there are uh, toys on the ground, there are uh, um, the clothes, they are on the bed and so on. And this one describing the swimming pool and the activity they are doing. Uh, do you think they are happy or not? What is not, what, what the thing that you think is unusual? Okay, you can say we have a rat there and it's <laughs> unusual. And the boy, he's wearing huh, an ice cap and a scarf on the swimming pool. There is a penguin, which is huh, fishing. fishing. And there is a girl, a mermaid girl. Do we have a mermaid? Right? So it's the same, getting the mistakes or the errors in the picture. And here is this one more picture, a lot of pictures. So let's go to the notes and how can we use these all these pictures in the classroom? Uh, okay, some general ideas. You can ask them to write five sentences about the picture into groups. Don't do them. Yeah, at the very beginning of the session. It's this, it, uh, we're talking about the session you're gonna start a class with. In this session, we don't teach a lot of things. Start we course. are doing activities. We are we are make, yeah, we oh, are doing a free session without a course. Exactly. A free session at the very beginning, you get to know your students, you have activities to get them involved and like your class. So you get them into groups to start writing five sentences about the pictures you, you, you show them. Also, you can ask them to write questions. Okay. And then swap the, 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 the questions together and they try to answer it. Or you can ask them, like Ms. Shayma, uh, yeah, Ms. Shayma Shaheen said, like naming the objects. Okay, nominating the objects. And you can ask them how many mm, are there? Write three questions, each beginning with either who, where, when, what, okay? Um, you can play a lot of games and a lot of, okay, this one more, uh, uh, what's in the box, okay? Let me tell you, uh, this game I used to play on site with my classes, I had, uh, I had like a box and it's full with the classroom objects because they were in the kindergarten. Maybe a, a pencil, an eraser, a sharpener, and maybe uh, you can have a lot of objects that can be put in a, in a box. So I started going around the class and say like this, here's a box and that's a lid. Can you tell me what's in it? And I go around them and then uh, one of the students uh, uh, raises his, his hand and, and he puts his hand and take it out, okay? Oh, this is a pencil. Or I could play it in another way. You start describing an item and they try to guess what's in it. Uh, and then you open the book and show them was their answer right or not. For this one, for online classes, and you can use it on site if you have a smart board because this is PowerPoint. You can have uh, things like this. Oh, wait, it is not right there. Oh, just a second, because the colors uh, yeah, okay, for this one. Yeah. Oh, we have a problem with the PowerPoint because everything is colored. Okay. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what about this uh this game and how can to how how can we play it? Yeah, here it is. We cover them like this. And every uh, every every uh, piece of paper it hides a, a thing about what's hidden. Okay, the first one, I am funny, I'm pretty, uh, here I'm strong, uh, you like me, I'm sweet. <laughs> okay, and a lot of things about that. And then it's the teacher. Okay, the next one, 
um yeah more uh, more ideas but it's not written i'm so sorry for this mistake but allow me to do it so you can do it together so you can description about something i am boring you guess guys uh you don't like me and uh your teacher gives uh, gives me to you what is it i am boring you don't like me your teacher gives you to oh, gives me to you Homework, excellent. Yeah, that's very nice. Uh huh. So you start uh, 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 revealing these uh, sheets, and then you have it. It's a baby. No, it's the homework. No, this is the baby. This is the baby thing. Yeah, this is the homework. It's homework. And then the next one is a baby uh, description uh, on these papers. Though so they they read them and then they try to guess. And this is the news. You have description for the newspaper, and this is oh, it's a piggy description for the piggy. You can change it. I'm gonna change the PowerPoint. No worries. Okay, and this is a balloon. Okay, a lot of things. You can change these things according to your class. You can make them on a higher level and make them on the kindergarten kindergarten level. It's up to you. I'm gonna send you these PowerPoints so you can use them um uh, as it gets to you okay this was one of them okay let's move on what is what's going on yeah and then we have more activities again uh guessing games you can show them a poster of anything that they have studied before and you start describing the items and they try to guess what is this thing okay and then you they can start describing and their friends guess in turns okay this is about the guessing games. Show a picture and ask them for the story. Huh? Show them a boy, maybe a boy. He is sitting uh, under a tree and there are books coming down him, coming down from the tree, falling from the tree. And then you ask them, what do you think the story is? Okay. Give them the, 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 the key words and they start to make up the story. Also, you can add a word to the sentence. For example, I am hungry. Ha, huh? Asma, complete. I'm hungry and thirsty. Ha, huh? Shayma, complete. Add one more thing. Muhammad, add one more thing. Heba, add one more thing. And see what you get at the end of uh, this sequence, okay? It's a very nice and interesting one. Also, they can complete the story. So I will start and then you go on. Uh, whatever you say, whenever I say your name, you, you just uh, uh, say one more sentence. Once upon a time, there was a girl. Ha, Asma, complete it, please. Uh, she was very beautiful. Thank you very much, Shane. Uh, Aisha? Aisha? Shayma Yahya? Aisha? Yeah. Aisha huh? yeah. uh, what's the question? Again, we were telling a story. I said once upon a time there was a girl, and as Matt said, she was very beautiful. Huh? Complete. Say another sentence about the girl. Go ahead. Uh, she went to the park with her. Uh, okay, she went to the park. Okay, thank you very much. Hi, Ms. Shayma. Uh, she saw the ice cream man and she wanted to, to buy uh, a delicious one. Very nice, Yasmin. Uh, she bought um, ice cream with uh, strawberry flavor. Mm -hmm, amazing, Amani. Amani Ashraf. Huh, Amani. Okay, she's not there. Nanis. Uh, she she wanted to buy another one, but she have a, she hasn't uh, enough money to buy it. That's very nice. Shame it. Shame it. Yeah, or Shaheen. لا في Shaheen. I can't see Shaheen. Often. Yeah, Shame Shaheen. Go ahead. في في Shame it. Come You're three. <laughs> yes, Shame it. Shaheen. Four. Shame it. Shame it. Fatih also. Okay, so you carry on with this uh, very nice game. It's it's very interesting, and it uh, it learns them how to be creative. They will be thinking all the time. Or you can whisper the sentence. I can whisper, Shayma, okay, my mom is hungry. And she's going to whisper it to the next one, and the next, and the next. And at the end, you're going to find something else. It won't be the same sentence. Have you ever tried this game? Yes. Have you ever tried it's very nice and interesting. You say something at the, at the, and at the end, you get something else. It is not the same. 
you can you, you've got to try this okay so ladies what about you if you have more activities to share that will be great huh. activities activities more activities to start you can play yes. xo you know xo yes i have yeah, go ahead. Share your message. Sorry, sorry, I couldn't. I, I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't respond. I'm so sorry. It's okay, my dear. So uh, I play all with this game with my students, which is like give me something with this color. So like I give uh -huh. them color, and they find it. Try to find it in their house. Yeah, it's very nice. Give me something yellow. Give me something green. Yeah. Get, if yeah. if the if, the, if you're teaching online. It would be very nice because they move around the house. They are not sitting yeah. st sitting still like this. And if you are playing this game on site, it would be very nice because they have a lot of things in their uh, uh, pencil case and their bag. Very yeah. nice, very yeah. nice. There is another okay. one. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's another one for young learners. Uh, it's like called Simon Says. I think uh, most of you know yeah, about it. So yeah, like uh, I, I start to do something and they do as me. So I'm, I'm, I sit, I'm sitting up. I'm standing up. Yeah. And, and if I say I I yeah. Do. If I say Simon says, you do the action. If I don't yeah. say Simon says, you don't do the action. Yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, and you can play. I spy with my little eyes. Very nice. Game. Yeah, yeah. I spy uh, with my little eyes. Something yellow, and it's uh, and we use it for, and they start yeah. guessing what this thing is. Okay, a spelling game can start with a spelling game. Give me a C. Give me an A. Give me a T. What is it? They will say cat. Okay, or you can show them a picture, a poster, and you start asking, okay, this thing is brown and it's on the tree. What is it? They try to find it. Or you can uh, uh, play a game. If you are doing this on site, you can uh, ask them to touch, touch that. Of course, in the classroom, we have a lot of posters and flashcards, right? Or you can uh, hang up the, the flashcards you want. Maybe it's about animals. Maybe it's about the classroom objects. So you say, okay. Uh, one by one, you, you choose one of, the, of every, every team and you say, okay, now uh, from team A, uh, one student, from T, team B, one student. So now I want you to touch the elephant. They go very, very fast. The one who touches the elephant first is the winner. And then you carry on. You, you count the points on the board, okay? Now, the next one, I want you to touch the blackboard. They go and, and touch it. I want you to touch the window. And they start doing this. You can do it with a, with whatever flashcards you have, whatever the items or vocabulary you want to recycle. Okay, huh. more activities. Does anyone have? It's okay, my dear. Huh? Does anyone have anything to share? Um. Uh, when uh, okay, uh, when I teach, uh, uh, for example, uh, sample terms. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. so we. Uh, future sample okay uh, i made i make some uh, flashcards or and i write uh, some verbs on it and i right. ask someone to act this verb to the other groups and uh, uh, when they know the, uh, when do when they know the verb uh, i told them and i asked them to uh, form a sentence uh, in negative or positive one or make right. a question and uh, Very so nice. on. Yeah, that's very nice and interesting and engaging as well. Okay, one more game for the phonics. If you are teaching kindergarten, you can have some some letters. They are step, they are on the ground, and you get a group of five students. So they start moving around in a circle, and you clapping or saying the rhyme or whatever. And then you say, "Touch the M, touch M sound," and and they 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 are very fast. The one who touches first is the winner. Okay, with five students. Okay, or you can put them, you can give them like a card with uh, a vowel and an ending sound. Maybe uh, we have um, we, we have letter uh, S in the middle and they have it, at, uh, they have so it's gonna be set, sit, sin, uh, sip, and so on. So they have the, 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 the flash cards with the vowel and the ending sound. And then you say the words. And they have to be concentrating. The one with the right vowel and an ending sound should put it next to the letter. Okay, the faster, the winner. Okay, uh, this is like uh, 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 it's a game for you, you know for um, decoding the words or blending them, putting them in the right way. Okay, yeah, Mr. Matt, you have something to, to do. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, Mr. Abdurrahman, I can ask them to draw the item. Yeah, that's right. Yes, Mr. Rahman, go ahead. Okay. Uh, last week, I uh, I presented a workshop for teachers in my mm -hmm. school. 
was about uh, something like this. It was about icebreakers and warming up activities. Mm -hmm. So I have the, the PowerPoint. Um, it has some activities you can uh, start Very your nice. with it. If you want me to show you this PowerPoint, I can show you it now. Yeah, sure. And please send it to me so I can share it with most teachers in the groups. It would be very nice of you. How about you? Okay. Okay. So allow me to share, give you the share. You can share your screen. There we go. Share your stream. Screen. Oh, yes, you're allowed to share. Yes, I'm using my mobile. So yeah, so. it's okay. Um, my mobile. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. Using the dice, it's very nice. Okay. This one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, number one uh, was the spot. With the difference. I spot the difference between two yeah. pictures. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. For example, this two, these are two different pictures. Yeah. You can spot yes. different them, or this, or you can use the simple picture. Yeah, there are a lot of pictures on the internet, actually. Yeah, right. Um, I like this one. This is uh, four pictures, one word. What's four mm -hmm. pictures, one word? You can give them, for example, this one. Come on, you can see the answer because I'm using. Uh, so yeah, the word wave. Yeah, the, he, what's the uh, connected word uh, to the four pictures? You can use Very the nice. words here. Ball. Ball. Okay. Yeah. On here, children. children. Great. Number and three. Dice. Roll the mm -hmm. dice. Uh, this is another game. Roll the dice. I can use big uh, dice inside my classroom. And... Yeah. They can read or do uh, some instructions or uh, yeah. try pictures, whatever, according to the lesson. Yeah, you're asking them questions, interesting questions, and funny ones they can answer, and it's very nice, amazing. And the next one. What's the word? word? You describe it, or you give them the definition. What's this? French fries, yeah, compound nouns. Bravo. Um, this one. It's mm -hmm. this one. Cotton candy. This one. Um, coin fish. Something. Uh, is it goldfish. Gold. Yeah, goldfish. <laughs> this one. Popcorn. Yeah. Very nice. Cheeseburger. Um, yes, this one. King. Hey, Burger King. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Burger King. Yeah. And yeah. this one, what about this? Uh, um, child book? Let, no. Huh. Kid story? No. Facebook. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and which and one is correct? The game? Uh, which oh one is good? I think which the one? first. The yeah, uh huh. You're getting them the logo so they can. Yeah. yeah, the logo. The one I'm using the mobile. So yeah, which yeah. one? This one. Correct. The first, first one. The second. One. Yeah, the first one on the left. Yes. Amazing activity. Thank That's you cool. very much. Yeah. yeah. You That's can really... use all the riddles. Riddles. Yeah. Like uh, what has many keys but can't open any doors? Mm hmm. What the piano? Good? Bravo, piano. Piano. Bravo. Uh, what can, can be used can... until it's broken? An egg. Egg, bravo. And so on. So you can, Tyler, come. You can have a lot of riddles. Also, you can. Yeah, very nice. The detective. The detective game. Saying, yeah, which rule will you choose? You want me to complete? Yeah, go carry on. Okay. Which door will you choose? Come on, this is Take a video. One. Mm -hmm. You are locked in a room. Okay. They have to watch the video. Then they are going to decide which uh, room they are. They can go outside from it. Mm -hmm. Here, this 
what I told you about. What's, What's wrong? wrong? Yeah, very nice. Uh, you can see this one oh, yes. pencil here and a lot of things. Oh, and here, a shark in the pool. Well, someone is swimming on the book. That's very nice. Yeah. Someone is cooking in the swimming pool. A lot of things. Yeah. yeah. And this one also. What's wrong? We have a lot of things. Gone. This is tongue Thank twister. twister. Amazing. Uh, draw and guess. Drawing guess is, is very nice. Uh, I can ask one of the pupils to uh, put in his mind something he wants to draw on the board. Then he try to draw it uh, step by step or part by part, and they have to guess what he's drawing. That's very nice. That's very, very nice. Okay. Guess, guess who, who I am? am? It's about the jobs? Yeah, about anything. Animals, jobs, about anything. Uh, mm -hmm. Someone to speak describing something or even something, by the way. Uh, food items. I am brown. I am, um, I'm a fruit. Like the one with the clue which we had at the very beginning. Yeah. It was very nice. The food riddles. Yes, something like this. And as I told you, you can use it for anything. Yes. Oh, no game. Mm -hmm. um, you can play this Ono oh, game, hide some pictures behind this Ono, oh, and they have to uh, know what's uh, hidden uh, behind these cards for Ono oh, game. Mm -hmm. Also, you can play quizzes game online. Right. That's also, Quizlet, time. you have Quizlet and Bamboozle. A lot of um, things. Thank you very much, Yemi Shima, for sharing. Thank you very much. Okay, so send me this uh, uh, PowerPoint. So uh, if, if you don't mind, of course, I'm gonna send them. I'm gonna send it, and with my PowerPoints, I have all these games separate separately found on PowerPoint presentations, and they are already uh, they are ready to to use. Okay. Does anyone have a question? So so let's wrap it up. Miss Shima shared a lot of activities. And so uh, did I, we had a lot of things to, uh, to learn. Allow me to show you from the very beginning. We started with, how can you remind me? The first game, talk for one minute. And I said, you can play it individually or huh, into groups. You can divide them into groups. They choose a number and choose the number. And after that, what happens? They start doing the talking. They, they, they generate as many ideas as they, uh, as they can. And then they start, uh, they start talking. Okay, one of them. A lot of a, a lot of things. I'm gonna share this PowerPoint, and it is hyperlinked, and everything is is set for you. And the next one is uh, the the riddle about food. It was very interesting, and everyone loved it. So you can use it as it is, and you can modify it. You can use it for the classroom objects. You can use it for the um, maybe for jobs. You can use it for anything you want. Or maybe for some. Uh, adjectives, you can give the definition clue by clue, and it will be easy for them. And then we talked about the pictures and how can we use the pictures, maybe imagine the dialogue, you can say, um, you can make it a to gloss uh, activity, uh, say the sentences, the are into groups, they try to put the words together to get the, act the, the sentences in the right way. Uh, you can also ask them what's wrong. Okay, what's wrong with the room? What's wrong with the, with this house? Uh, what's wrong with this picture? People are doing activities in the swimming pool, which is not uh, right. We have a rat swimming with the boys and gardens, right? We have a mermaid, a penguin fishing, and so on. And and then we talked about what's in the box. You can play it on site in the box or a jar, maybe a jar. You can use a jar, okay? It doesn't have to be a box with a lid. Here is a jar and that's the lid. Do you, uh, can you guess what's in it? And you have to cover it. Uh, in order not to see what's inside. You, you're gonna say, you're gonna give them the clues if they are written here, and then they see the, the object at the end. You got it? I'm gonna send this uh, PowerPoint to you. And that's everything for today. We talked about the guessing games. We talked about showing the picture and ask them for the story, add a word to the sentence. So you say a sentence and they start adding words. So you have a very large sentence at the end, whisper or complete the story. You can say you start by a sentence and your your class um, your, your students start adding more sentences. Like once uh, once upon a time there was a, a village, it was very small. There were a lot of people. Uh, uh, one day uh, Ahmed ran out of his house. He found a wolf. The wolf was very and so on. They they, they will amaze you with the details that they're adding to the uh, story.
for the sentence, you whisper a sentence to, uh, you, you, you put them into a line, you whisper a sentence and they start saying the sentence to each other, whispering, whispering it. And at the end, you're gonna have something else. It will never be the same. And, yeah, uh, thank you very much. I wish you yeah, I, I, and I have, no worries. Okay, so uh, thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and, and, and I wish it will be of a great benefit for all of you. Thank you very much. And uh, thank I you, have sweetie. Great... You're welcome, my dear. It was good being I... with you. I, I love you, Jamie. Thank you very much for supporting me all the time. And uh, I have the recording. I can share it, inshallah, on the group. I'm going to send it. Um, yeah, it's on the Telegram group. You can find it. And also the PowerPoints will be posted there. Thank you very much and see you in coming free sessions. Bye bye. Goodbye, dear. Bye bye.